Uh, let's look at another question. So we have um, a question from 2017 November series uh, about survey to building civil engineering and architecture. Uh, so this paper I saw an interesting question here. Uh, what 14 marks? And, th- and this is what you are going to tackle. You can download it from the Tibet Easy Tibet website. So they have a lot of question paper from there. If you cannot accept, the, you cannot access the library in your school. That can be helpful. Ah, uh, this is question eight B. Uh, let's read. So I understand this question. The data below is an extract of observed bearing from a field notebook for a control traverse run between two control points. So P, PT2 and PK1, so those are the two control points, Come full stop. Using the information on the given datum coordinates, prepare a traverse bearing sheet. So that is 14 marks. And if you get that 14 marks, I think it can lift you up away from Arifa. Uh, here we have the stations that we have been given. So from the control station, P, T2, as you can see here, uh, we have been given the, the data on those on, in every adjacent station so from p2 to p t1 we have a value there then from p t to to p t3 we have the value there and we go so here is uh, this question is a little bit fair because they have already arranged for you so you just have to identify which is the four bearing and which is the back bearing of what and which and after identifying that you can get all that you you are supposed to write on the traverse bearing sheet computation um and also i'll show uh, the the question here you can download it and the calculation you will have to download the pdf in the link below you can use that pdf as you follow with the tutorial so the values has, have been given here you have only to identify the four bearing and the back bearing so from tr2 to tr1 we have this value then from tr2 to tr3 so this first value this is the back bearing of this point here so that is the back bearing that you have gotten so i think by now you you understand the concept of back bearing and four bearing so the difference between the back bearing and the four bearing so negative one eight or a positive one eight that is the difference between the values of the four bearing and the back bearing when you have a value that is in the first and second quadrant ah, you have to add 180 in order to find the back bearing then if you have the value that is in the third quadrant and the fourth quadrant of your tra- traverse uh, compass we have to minus 180 uh, having observed that we go to the datum bearings and we've been given the final datum bearings here and from this final datum bearings we are going to use the values there to find the final bearings in the computation the survey bearing computation sheet uh, let's go directly to the question i had calculated and we are just going to directly so i had done this question there then uh, because this is the third tutorial uh, i just have to to explain by a little bit demonstration because i think you have the concept of what we are going to do here from the table there you write the stations you write all the station to the last 
station that is p k1 uh having written that and this is simple because they have just arranged all those stations in the table that we have been given there so you just write what you have been given there copy and paste easy simple uh then you write the observed values from the stations there you go back to the data bearing so in the data bearing we had been given so from we have been given from t2 to t1 we have the final bearing t2 to uh, pt3 we have there and from pk1 to pk2 we have there and from pk1 to pk3 we have our our value there that is what we are going to write in the section of the final bearing so we write the value so here we have two two five twenty nine forty two and we have the same that we have been given here we have one fifteen um thirty two forty eight then you go to the last control station we have one thirty eight zero six eleven one twenty six fifty twenty nine so those are the value that we have been given in the final bearing now we go back so the difference between the observed value and the final bearing is what is going to give us the orientation correction uh, we have done already uh, I needed it to be a little bit faster if you need the more explain the for more explanation I have the first video that I did uh, and it has a lot so here I'm just going to jump 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 to calculate this so I'm sure if it does not go well with you you can repeat the example that I had earlier and it can show you step by step little by little how we get this value so the so the section here so this value as I had told you earlier they do not much change the degree and the minutes they do not much change they are the same and they are the same in the final bearing so the difference is here in the section of the so the second section and in the second section so the difference between these values so in order to for us to correct the observed value which was 36 to get our 42 the final bearing we add a positive 6 and the same is done on this controlling station so in this station in order for us to get the correct bearing which is 48 we need to add 8 second to the 40 in order for us to get after adding the two the two value here so that is the plus 6 plus a plus 8 uh, the two will give you a positive 14 and the um, mean of those two will be the mean so we divide by two because they are two the mean will be a positive seven then we come here so from p t2 uh, to tr1 this is the four bearing so the back bearing of this line we are supposed to add 180 in order to get the back bearing and here we have tr1 to pt2 so here is the value of the back bearing that was supposed to be gotten the value that we had and the value that was supposed to be right when you add we were using a calculator plus 180 here we'll have 205 29 30 but here on the observed value we have 47 so we need to correct this 47 seconds in order to get the value that we had 
So the value was supposed to be 205.29.30. The difference between these two will be a negative 17. So you correct it by negative 17 in order to get the 30. So negative 17 plus positive 7. And the answer will be negative 10. That negative 10 is the orientation correction applied to the next station. So from TR1 to TR2, we correct it by that. Then we move to the next station. One f so 500049. Uh, when you add 180, you will have 230.0049. But here in the observed value, we have a 30. So this 30, what do we do with the 30? We correct the 30 by uh, by plus 19. So when, when you add 19, you find the value that was supposed to be right. So the value will be 230.0049. The difference between those two will be positive 19. We add the positive 19 to the negative 10. And when you add it, we get a positive 9. So the same is done to all those stations. So the difference in the stations between the value that we have there, the difference in the forbearing and the backbearing, then you correct the orientation correction. And this is applied to the last control station, PK, PK1. So when you correct PK1 to PK2 to PK3, you correct it with a negative 15. So this correction is what is applied on the observed value. So 3080609, you subtract a negative 15. So this is the section of the second. Make sure you subtract the section of the second only. And you can input the whole value. So this will be 380606. Zero nine, and you subtract by zero zero in your calculator. Zero zero degrees, zero zero minutes, and fifteen seconds, and you find the value that we have here. So that will be three o eight zero five fifty four seconds. Then you do the same to the next station. So one twenty six fifty twenty four. You subtract it by a negative five second remember that is us that is the section of the second make sure you remember that so applying the correction in the 24 the um, section of the second and we get our final so this is the preliminary adjusted bearing so that will be 126 50 zero 09. having done that we come to the final correction. So the difference between the preliminary adjusted bearing and the final bearing that we had gotten. So the difference between these two is what you are going to observe here in the final col final correction. Uh, and in the final correction, so we correct this value in order to get the final bearing. So the difference between these two will have a positive 17 second the difference between these two and this so that is a positive 20 in the positive 20 so when you add those two and you find the mean we are going to get a positive 18.5 the positive 18.5 we are going it we are going to divide it by the number of stations that we have and the number of stations that we have uh, we have six stations you can count the station so we have one two three four five six so we have six stations there and that is the stations we are going to divide it so when we divide we get our positive 3.08 we apply the correction in the final correction column so we go to from pt2 to tr1 
we apply the correction there so that is the positive 3.08 we add again plus a positive 0.38 we get a positive 1.16 wow um, positive 1.16 we add uh, the correction that we had there so that is 3.08 we add uh, we have a uh, 9.24 the 9.24 we add again the 3.08 we have the final correction there then we add the positive 1.2 so positive 12.32 and we have the final correction there then we go back to the stations so this value the observed value added by the correction we get the preliminary adjusted bearing and the preliminary adjusted bearing added by the final correction we get the final bearing so this is applied to all those stations that we had corrected so the observed value we add the our uh, orientation correction and we get the preliminary adjusted bearing and from the preliminary adjusted bearing we use the final correction and we correct the final bearing that we have here we apply the same and to all those values until we are done with everything that we are supposed to do here uh, 